that's my angle. God bless you guys. And the second story is about Dana White saying that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg are going to fight in possibly a combat sport, jujitsu, MMA. I'm not sure. But it seemed almost like a fake story because it's too funny to be true. But it doesn't seem like it is fake. Dana White says they're both down. He might be able to make it happen. I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. They both want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know. Let me ask him. I asked him and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. This would be the biggest fight. So I know a lot of people are going to say this is, you know, theater. It's distraction, which for sure, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter who wins a fight between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk, it, does it? No, but to me, this is getting back to those old days when sometimes people are like, I used to like when people lived off the farm and, you know, get back to our roots and nature. And it's like, what's more classic Americana than a duel? They used to duel people. They're like, I don't like your shoes. Someone's like, I don't like your wife. You're like, I don't like your banking schemes. They're like, I don't like, you know, what you're doing in the North. They're like, I don't like what you're doing in the South. And then they're like, let's duel. And they're like, all right, let's, you know, that's what they used to do. It's kind of tight, kind of frightening, but. It's it's cla it's classic Americana. Like you think you're a tough guy, you think you're a tough guy. Let's let's find out. Let's see who's the last one standing. I love it. I, I don't talk about it that much on my show because I'm in my pocket. But I love USC MMA boxing. I'm a I'm a a, a mixed martial arts fan. So I, it's crossing two worlds that I, I pay attention to. Pretty funny. And Zuckerberg is no joke at jujitsu. I mean, he's been really training hard doing tournaments. And here's Dana saying that as well um here it is mark takes the sport very seriously he trains very hard he actually is good at jujitsu he's good at stand-up and uh elon tells me that he he's done martial arts he's done jujitsu and he says people uh might not think this of me but i've been plenty of fights growing up inside so they both want to fight each other uh, i hope it happens i really do i think it would be exciting entertaining and Everybody in the comments that's saying it's a distraction, it's a distraction. So are a lot of things, though. A lot of things are distractions. So, you know, it's like, well, look at Hunter Biden. It's like, yeah, the, Hunter Biden and Biden are corrupt. Um, you know, Trump's in court. Uh, like, there, I understand some things matter, but sometimes you dive so much into politics and you think you're like doing something, but you're not really even doing anything. And, you know, there's millions of activists that spend their whole lives doing activism and screaming and, you know, freaking out every 10 years. And they, and they think they're fixing the world so much like, oh, I matter so much because I'm not sports. I'm I'm dedicated. But what if you're dedicated to the wrong cause? What if you got tricked? What if you know, what if all that energy you spent, you realize when you turn 35 that you don't even like abortions that much or you realize that Black Lives Matter is not what you thought it was. So all I'm going to say is just because whether you're left wing or right wing, just because you're so into politics, it's important to not be ignorant. I think everyone should be educated on what's going on for sure. Obviously, I do it all the time. I'm clearly passionate about it. And so are you. But it's like, there's nothing wrong with a little Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk fight. Let's have a little bit of fun. It's not like you have to revolve your whole world and, and erase your brain of what you know about politics, because sometimes 98% of politics are psyops and distractions also. So if I'm going to be distracted, do I want to be distracted crying about Trump and DeSantis for a year? Or do I want to be distracted with Elon Musk on the ground trying to put a, you know, a submission choke on Zuck? I want the latter. I'm pumped about it. I hope it happens. And in a weird way, I think it's getting back to our primal roots. I don't necessarily think it's like the worst distraction ever. We should have more of these events. Get, like they used to duel. That's that like people talk about, oh, it's not real anymore. That's real. Like Aaron Burr, you know, what are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. You want to fight about it? All right. Let's, you know, even smart people. You read some of the people in the Constitution, they were some of the smartest people ever, but they still were men. You know, they still were like, all right, let, let's, you know, do it. I'm not, I don't think a mutual duel is a good idea anymore, but a mutual boxing match is a good idea. MMA fight, why not? What's what's wrong with that? Put your skills to the test. And I also think taking care of yourself uh, makes you a better person. Like, I, I truly believe, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill Gates. Sorry, I, I know he's an obvious person, but I get confused i had like all the elites going in my head like jeff bezos he, he's at coachella with his you know you know his big bazunga lady that he's with you know no disrespect bezos we all know she's wearing see-through shirts and stuff i'm just saying you know you got the zuck and and then you got uh bill gates who looks like a sloppy potato salad and you know 
it just seems like he's having less fun than everybody. He looks like a sloppy potato salad. He sits there and watches tennis and, you know, who won the tennis event he went to at the U.S. Open. It was Jokovic, so he had to watch the unvaccinated legend win right in front of him. Bezos is out here getting jacked, hanging out at Coachella. Elon's having fun. You know, jujitsu. Mark is, uh, you know, getting stronger and more aware. I like the fight. I'm sorry. I like it. I want to see him fight. I, I want to root for Elon, but I think that Mark has more experience with jujitsu. He's practicing a lot. He does tournaments. Like he's really into it, whether people care or not. I want to see him fight. Come on. You don't, you don't want to see Zuckerberg fight. You don't want to see Trump and, and Biden box. You're lying to yourself. You can act like you're better than me. That's fine. You might be, but oh my gosh, I don't want to see that. You don't? I do. I would love if Trump and Biden box. Let's take a poll. Would you rather Trump and Biden debate? Oh, we've all seen that. Yeah, I get it. Oh, I did the vaccine. No, I did it. Uh, Obamacare, Trump care. Oh, I'm going to build a wall. I'm not. Yeah, we get it. I know who you are, Joe Biden. I've heard Trump speak a hundred times. It's cool. I love debates. I'm not saying not to debate, but I've seen a Trump-Biden debate multiple times. I want to see a Trump-Biden boxing match. Come on. Stop playing yourself, America. Let's get it going. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Laura Loomer. You know, I like many elements of both of them. I've met both of them. I've talked to both of them. It's time for them to do a boxing match. You know, they're, they're, they're chirping at each other, getting real personal. Let's settle it the old-fashioned Americana way. Let's get Marjorie Taylor Greene with some gloves on, a few months of training. Laura Loomer, obviously everything mutual, mutual combat. And let's get it cracking. You know, I saw Alex Stein is boxing someone on on uh, the zone, the boxing network. I love that. That's my favorite thing Alex has done probably ever. I mean, I, it's, I'm not trying to downplay his whole career, but I love MMA. The, I saw that Alex Stein's literally boxing. I'm pumped. I think it's really uh, I think it's really fun. Um, I don't know. Lighten up a little bit, but maybe not. Maybe it's a huge distraction and, you know. It's so bad, but I'm kind of enjoying it personally. Let me know what you think. That's my take. I would say, I hope it happens. That would be revolutionary. Let's get back to the days where we square up and just, you know what I'm saying? Men be men again a little bit. And if I were to bet on the fight, I would bet for, I, I bet Zuckerberg winning by submission. I think he'll win pretty easily. But, you know, my I like Elon Musk better than Mark Zuckerberg. So I'd root for Elon. But if I were a betting man on that fight, that doesn't even really exist yet. But if it did, I think Zuckerberg will take it. That's my take. Let's get to the third story. So 